No, 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 Grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of who else I need to give it to. So there's me, there's the new guy, and me and the new guy are not going to have any. Um, Katja or whatever is probably already okay, considering I gave Ducky food. Fuck it, I'll give her some something food. to eat. Here. Me? How about you? You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? I always look like okay. crap. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me instead of Doug, but you don't owe me anything, Carly. All right. Well, I will try. Where the fuck am I going? I will try to throw out a peace offering and give um, I Carly a fucking meal. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Uh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up, quit being such a pansy. Uh, oh my god. I want to hurt him. Hey, you holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there, having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah, I just hope Katja can save him. You ever miss the Air Force Base? Huh. I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. I guess he's a mechanic? Right. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. You mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Uh... Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Not with that fucking attitude. Arrest, man. Things are different. Being a racist is outdated. <laughs> oh, and that's what you think this is? What the fuck is wrong with his face? Yeah, that's right. And what are you gonna do about it? Oh my Look, god. I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. You know, you tried to fucking kill me, dude. I saved your ass. You tried to fucking kill me. It's not cool. You're gonna fucking die. <laughs> Sorry. This is how shitheads get rewarded in my game. <clears throat> Alright, let's give... Can we get up there at all? I don't want anything from you. Take it anyway. You need to eat. You look out, dumbass. This doesn't change anything. <laughs> oh, you whiny uh, sex shit. That's it. Not such an easy job, is it? It's pretty easy for me. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee, Kenny, I know I ran out of food before. Hey, it was a tough choice, but you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. I'm, <laughs> I'm a real boy. Thanks, Kenny. Really? Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out. What happened to my food? There's none. Give it to your fucking daughter. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. I want to murder you. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. Ugh. Oh. 
Ben, Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. He's I'm gonna be a walker. I said crawler. Ken, come back. There's nothing. Let him go, Katja. What? He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? Oh my god! What the f Oh, yeah, it's him. What do I do? What do I do? Slam his fucking man! Worthless fuck. Get him off me. Why would I fucking miss him all the way up? This is what you got. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It doesn't it's not matter. The bite that does it. It doesn't matter at all. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. Yes. God help us. God help us. <laughs> makes sense. In those first few days, it's so fast. Car accidents, suicides. Everything was making more of them. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. <clears throat> but one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God. Back off! Zambi fist. Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we... We just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Carly. Are you armed? Yeah. F for protection. Dead could be anywhere. But, uh, I think you got the upper hand here. Doesn't matter. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If Y'all be willing to lower your guns. We, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Hmm. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. Two. I got your back Jed. if anything Go seems ahead. fishy. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy in exchange. You give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. Couple, that means so, two. This dairy. You guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Bullshit. Not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. <laughs> because of your past. Does anyone else know? Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine might know. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore. Asked me about it. I lied to her, but 
What exactly did happen with the senator? Now is not the time. It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen <laughs> situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, I really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. Boo! That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. <laughs> How many people you got over there anyway? Well, the kid here is our newest arrival. But we're all looking forward to some food. We really need it. Well, here's to helping each other out. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Uh, yeah, that's great. I'm kind Everything of helps. cautious. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but now it's... You it's... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always pulling this shit. Ooh, I want that fucking crossbow. Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Fuck you. Fuck you knew we were hungry. And you guys were keeping it there's up only two. Oh no, there's Yeah, you know what? We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out. I hope they move on. Fuck you! Whoa. Kill him. Take a shot. Fuck you. Jesus. Asshole. The world out here has gone to shit. Come on. Let's get to the dairy where it's safe. I want his crossbow. Give me that crossbow. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Don't turn, turn the fuck around. Oh my god. I would have had the dude with the rifle take the shot, and we could take the shotgun and the fucking crossbow. They're clearly assholes. <laughs> Damn it! Here it is. St. John Family Dairy. We're gonna get raided. Y'all can see it's how we kept this place so safe. <laughs> Damn it. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. Ooh. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. This is a really brilliant setup. Suits us just fine. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the Big birth of fucking coming out here. I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mom. I'm Brenda St. John and Brenda. welcome to the I was close. Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. You are sounding a little bit racist the there. Motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Yeah. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Does that offer apply to the rest of us? We're all incredibly hungry. These are far <laughs> We're fucking hungry! This morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Uh... Your cow is sick? What's she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our uh... prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group no. for the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you <laughs> hungry souls. 
It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out with this? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take me. Take this. Take me. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. No, don't take the kid. Mm. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. It's gonna be a fucking perimeter. zombie cow. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. They're gonna I'll kill you when you're ready. And eat your body. <laughs> this place is incredible. Oh my god! It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. Yeah. Alright, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. I will. You'd think they'd have that part electrified too, considering it's a metal fence. Mmm, pointy. Let me talk to Andy here. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. Been stockpiling, huh? No one fucks with us. 